Okay, I'm going to do the solar panel test and just see how easy it is to set up and whether it works. It's getting warm now, isn't it? Right. So here it is. So I'll put all that, put that. What do I need? <laughs> uh, it should be all right. You can um, supposedly you can just wipe it clean anyway. Um, of course, it would help if I remembered where I put the pegs. I think they're in here. Sorry? I've got loads of water, yeah, why well, have you run out? Oh, any more water, sorry, to walk through. Um, no, it's not too bad now. It's just muddy, you know, it can be muddy, that's all. Um, so obviously I wouldn't normally need to peg this out, uh, unless it was very windy, but I'll just do it as a test. It was great, wasn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I hope I can get these pegs out of the ground afterwards. No, this is good actually. I think it works. I think it works quite well. in a tent, isn't it? Just spread that out. Extremely. What I'm hoping is I can do this quite quickly when I'm tracking, once I get a bit used to it. And that way, you know, anytime you just stop for sort of lunch or break or whatever, you can just quickly uh, Set it up, isn't it? I don't want to bother putting the other pin out, I suppose I should, shouldn't I really? Yeah, well, I mean, depending on how... I mean, it should take about six hours to charge a Canon, you know, battery for, for a digital camera, so that's quite a long time, but I mean, really, if you're in the mountains and you've got no other option, I'm quite surprised they're not sort of more popular, really. I think a lot of the you know big expeditions use them. Well, yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't have a problem, but of course, because it takes six hours to charge anything, it's uh, not really the best idea, is it? So I think I'll try. I'll try it with the. Um, iPhone first because that was causing a few problems the other day. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it definitely helps. Yeah, your feet start to dry out a bit, but I, I mean, um, have you already put them on? All yeah. oh, right, okay. I was going to suggest maybe holding off for a bit because it gives the you know boots a bit of a chance to to drain out. And then it's not so bad. But yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so let's try my iPhone first. Here it is. Let's check we've got a light on. Yep, there's the light. Uh, I'll tell you what, I think I've made a big mistake here. I don't think I've bought, and I know I haven't bought, the um, charging cable for the iPhone. So I won't try the iPhone. <laughs> How annoying is that? But I can, I can try to charge my camcorder battery. Uh, 
I saw little shuttles I wanted to see if because it pipe line wasn't working yesterday, was it? They were saying it wasn't supported. So that was a bit of a silly silly mistake. Mm. Yeah, well that's right, exactly. You lose all your output, don't you? To my left. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, let's give this a go. on me that. It is. Lights on. Let's see if we can get it to charge this battery for a bit. Oh well I'll have to do another test with the um, iPhone at another time. I mean in the day the iPhone is not really the critical thing. Let's uh, do another charge. Right, so the red light's on, see it's charging. Ah. Wicked. Well, that's, uh, that's not bad going, is it? So I'll put that on there. And then uh, have lunch. Well, like, it would if it was empty, if it was completely dead. I mean, that one isn't dead, is it? So, um, you know, I'm hoping it won't take too long to charge up. Jackdaw that is, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're fascinating birds, aren't they? Because they're so um, intelligent, you know. It'll be interesting to see how much, you know, just while we're eating our sandwiches, how much that actually um, charged up, won't it? <laughs> Do you think so? I think. Oh, I think Rocky's pretty game for stuff. Really? Is he a bit uh, scared of heights? Is he? So there it is, set up. So that should work fairly well now. So I'm just going to turn the video off now and see what happens.